I think we've been lied to since we've been little kids. Colour purple doesn't actually exist. Here's why. Okay, when I say purple, I don't just mean purple. More specifically, I mean magenta, halfway between red and blue. But potato, potato, it's the same thing. You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. When it comes to colour, there are three primary colours. There's red, green and blue. Now on image editing softwares or video editing softwares where you need to have a look at colour, you'd often find a chart like this. Now with this circular chart with uh, colours up. I couldn't be bothered to colour it all in. It's white bubble, but you get the picture. You get red here, green here and blue here or whatever. And in between these three primary colours, you get secondary colours. You get your magenta here, halfway between red and blue. This is what we're talking about, the one that doesn't exist. You also get your yellows and your cyans now. Now, those do exist. We'll get back to that. Now, if you wanted to show yellow, you get red and then you get green and you can mix them together. This is typically what a, a screen does, where it has subpixels of red, green and blue, but it uses the red and the green to make yellow light. On a retinas we have various different cells in order to detect light. We have rods here which detect luminosity, lights and darks, and we also have cones. We have three different types of cones. These detect three different types of light being red, green and blue. Now when the eye sees yellow light it stimulates the red cone and the green cone and therefore sends signals to the brain and the brain interprets that as a yellow image. So this is the light spectrum and uh, okay it's simplified but typically the peak on which we detect red light is about here, the peak of green and the peak of blue there which okay is more or less how it works. The yellow light would be around here about about here. So if we assume that there is something yellow emitting light here that is going to stimulate a little bit of the red here and a little bit of the green here that our cones can detect and it's going to send that signal off to the brain in order to think okay that is the yellow object the thing is our pixels that show both red and green light show it here and here there is no light emitted in this part of the spectrum here however our brains can't tell the difference both the cones detect light here and here, and our brain detects it as yellow because it's the halfway point between these two. Okay, just going to do a little demonstration with some gels here. Here we have a yellow gel. As you can see, that is quite clearly yellow. And here I have a red gel, and here I have a green gel. Now see what happens when I put them both together. Okay, it's a little darker because it has to pass through two sheets of plastic instead of one, but, but you can definitely tell it's more of a yellow colour. It's a bit hard to explain and just show it on RGB screen, but you get the picture. Okay, so that's yellow, but what about magenta? Okay, yellow is the in-between point between red and green here. Cyan, the same thing applies there. It's between green and blue here. Our brains do the same thing, yada, yada, yada. Magenta, however, isn't the halfway point between red and blue. The halfway point is green, so why don't we detect green? You may think of the rainbow. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So wouldn't, wouldn't it be over here? Violet is right at the very fringe of our visible light spectrum. But any further, and it goes into UV light, which we really can't see. Is it in the way back here? Well, not really. Like You go further back that way, and you get into infrared light. That's definitely not purple. All right, so what is it? Well... I'm glad you asked. The light looks a little something like this. You've got a peak in the red part of the spectrum, down with the green, and up again with the blue. Now that stimulates our red and blue cones. However, it doesn't stimulate our green cone. If it did, it would appear white, but it doesn't. Okay, so what's going on here? It's essentially the opposite of green, where the only cone that would be stimulated would be green. So whereas yellow can be seen as an additive colour, additive meaning a combination of two colours, this is typically what happens on the screen, a red, green, blue, to make all the other colours, they're all additive. Now purple, magenta, whatever you want to call it, is an additive colour, but unlike yellow, it doesn't have a true like, wavelength, it doesn't have its own wavelength, because yellow can be both that, additively, but its own wavelength looks a little something like that. Now, 
purple or magenta potato potato like I say doesn't have its own wavelength and that is why purple does not exist the only place it exists is up here which I guess you could ask does it matter okay yeah it doesn't have its own wavelength but we see it we recognize it like what's the difference and my answer is I don't think there really is a difference I just find it interesting just thought it'd be something nice to share uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.